five. We're doing it week six. Start of this week, technically, but there was a couple of games Tuesday and Monday, so don't worry about that. Uh, was supposed to cast yesterday, but the series FF, so we're first series of the week, a little bit late into it, and it's Headbonk versus PayPal is 30k, both on the fringe of making playoffs and making this kind of a big series for both these teams. Five seconds remaining. That's true. I think PayPal needs to win more than Headbonk right now. Going to the standing, Headbonk has uh, they have seven points, and PayPal only has five points. So this is going to be a vital, uh, vital game for PayPal to maybe push their get to two and maybe push their chances for uh, uh, upper bracket potentially. Uh, yeah. have you guys even decided on a playoff format yet? Yeah, we're doing a Swiss format. Um, all all teams are still in best of ones uh, till the finals, which is best of eight. I know. Uh, um, best of eight. Yeah, gotcha. hey, I said eighteen. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I'm joking. So the information will be sent either Friday night or Saturday morning. So close. Uh, so what, close yeah. we're, what we're assuming is going to have playoff implications then. Um, hopefully. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's... I don't know. Five seconds but anywho, we're here. There's games. Yesterday I asked you for a quick cast, and that was one of the quickest casts in, in the history of like lads. I mean, this happened a, it's happened a couple of times, but that was pretty quick. No, no, but, but to ask for a quick cast, like I, like I didn't, like I was like, yeah, sure. I was like, I want a quick game, and it was a insane, insane. Was perfect. Yep. Um, so, I'm surprised with the Dawnbreaker ban. Like I know Shrek played like a like a good game on it. Uh, the last the last time we watched them play it, uh, remember, it was like last week, I guess. But uh, Ultra Gunner seems he's afraid of that pick. Bandit, along with Fury's Queen of Pain, which is also a very good pick. He's been owning with that hero. Well, that hero is pretty strong, so... Like, you can't tell the, the skill of a player, but Fury played like really good matchup. Well... Seems like odd picks for Headbonk, too. I know Hoodwink has been semi growing in popularity, but. Uh, Babis likes this hero. Yeah. Radiant teams turn to ban. Like I'm surprised with it. Not too surprising, though, I think. Especially for this lineup. Like, I think they would have went for Air Spirit, but. I think Air Spirit would have been a better pick than Hoodwink. Especially, like, since Babis likes to play that hero a lot. Ten seconds remaining. Oh. Uh, but Hodwick can 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 give you the lockdown from behind with the nice soccer, so it's not that bad. Dire teams turn to ban. Radiant team ban. And we see some uh, Ultra Gunner focused bans here, especially with the Naga Siren. Death Prophet, not too surprising there. Dire Either the Void ban. Spirit. And the puck, actually, a lot of mids coming through. Yeah, so um, it's basically that... I'm predicting yeah. an Ember pick potentially, unless they throw OD mid, that could also be the case. But flex it's... off lane as well. It's gonna be an OD mid, but I think they might play to off lane. Five seconds remaining. Or I'm mistaken about like frenzies here, pool. I could be mistaken. Dire yeah, but they're protecting they can, like I don't think like, they can do a Night Stalker mid into the OD. It just doesn't seem like. Like I was about to, to say, they're they're protecting like a specific hero from like jumps, but they're playing against Night Stalker, so that's irrelevant. Because they banned the Void Spirit, they banned the Puck, and, and they banned the remaining. Quab. So those like three really good jumping heroes. Five jump the back line. Remaining. Yeah, 
but if Bane and OD are in out of range, they can control the Night Stalker. Maybe with a position four hero. Actually, this is I watched like PayPal like once or twice this season, so I haven't seen them playing as much. But they haven't been looking that great overall. Jakira, kind of a safe set here. Okay. And this is, yeah, it, no, it's, a, it's, it's a very safe P5, I think. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, very safe pick. Your draft is still open, and then you can just counter their picks with the, with a smiley pick, and then last pick for Fury, or vice versa. Oh, that's a, that's a weak position for against a Jakira. Jakira can harass Lion, like, way too hard. Unless it's Bane like, position four, maybe? Line position five doesn't That's sound so great, no. but it's it's a weird pick to see Lion. I haven't. Five I don't think I've remaining. seen Lion. Last maybe played like once, or twice. I'm double checking. Well, Lion was picked fourteen times. Okay, um, and it has seventy percent win rate. Hmm. I mean, it's not a bad hero per se. It's just, it's just not great in the laning stage, and it doesn't really feel like people pick it in a draft. They're not going into a draft like we're gonna pick a lion. It's kind of just something that fit into this scenario. It seems okay into the Night Stalker. They at least have a little bit more lockdown, some jump for the Hoodwink too. Uh, maybe it limits your cores as well. For head bonk, but we'll see. Razor picked up for PayPal is 30k, which should be good into the Night Stalker if he gets the static link off. Also gives them a lot of push late game, too, if he goes for the eggs refresher 40 minutes into the game. Have a decent amount of push with the OD, too, so it should be a relatively fast paced game for PayPal is 30k. And Bonk looking to fight early, I think, with a very... It's a lot of low cooldown ultimates, so... can fight often. This seems to be, like, a setup for a really brawly game, Birdman. Yeah, it's it's all going to depend on this pick, for either Smile or Fury. Like, Fury usually goes for the more brawling heroes in general, and it depends on what Smile is his mood today, he wants to like fight all the time, or he just wants to like farm and both uh, of these teams the feel like they just want to fight all the time, honestly other than Bane I guess, Bane is like you probably wait until the Fiend's Grip is up, but even if it's down, like you still have so much to contribute to a fight with just Nightmare alone decent amount of damage from the brain sap uh, that should be pretty aggressive. I'm not even sure what the item build is for CK, but I think it's just Echo Saber into, like, what? Um, no, you, you buy an armlet. And... Do you not build? Do people not build Echo Saber on CK? It depends, but armlet is a really good item in this pad, so that will be, like, Really bad skipping it. This is like a response to the razor, you think? Ye in a way, yes, because CK can like dumpster razor uh, if he's if he's on par, because he can create tons of illusions. You use re uh, retaliate or whatever it's called, his uh, second skill, and with like with bashes, I mean with crits, destroy him. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a really fighty game though. Dire team's turn to ban. Prediction so far. CK has a longer cooldown ultimate, but it's not I guess it kind of just depends before. on how Fury's playing. Like it's it's much shorter now, like compared to to how it was. Uh, 
what, like two years ago, like a year ago or something. Oh, well, I remember a year ago the eggs build was pretty big. Which I guess people still go eggs, just not as prioritize. Yeah, but, but the eggs was more for like an offline uh, CK. It was not for uh, a carry CK. Because you can use it to uh, save people. Ember Spirit, uh, Arc Warden out, Viper. A lot of mids gone, Birdman. And uh, PayPal is 30k. Has a couple of flex heroes they could throw mid too, so they're happy just banning. Uh, dude, did they really ban five mid heroes? Technically? I guess Viper well, could be offlane too. But... Uh, yeah, but also now Headbox are banning five the Arc Warden because of Frenzy. I. Uh, is that respect? Like, yeah, five mid heroes in a draft. Well, well, the five mid heroes are from PayPal, Red not the other way around. Turn to pick. Yeah, no, I know. PayPal Ultra Gunner's banning out five mid heroes, so that. Well, well, he was banning easier... the mid heroes like to minimize jumps, and then like, it's Fury's last pick, right? So you're gonna have to ban some mid heroes. So. Like, the last two bands are Seconds given mid hero bands. Five seconds remaining. Dire team's turn to pick. And a pango. Dude, they have three flex heroes. I don't like this. Hello, my best None of them seem particularly, like, heavy carries, though, if the game, if the laning stage doesn't go well. I really don't like the pango. They have a lot of good fight though, so it could just come down to if they can outplay Ed Bonk. Five seconds remaining. Again, they've gone for oh, such a low cooldown. Lena's still in the pool. That's a game. It's about the only thing left. Trying to think what else you could even throw in there this game, but Lena was still in the pool, or did uh, Headbunk band it? I didn't see the band, but uh, oh shit, yeah. maybe maybe I, I forgot about it. But Lena's a good hero. Uh, even this game as a son. It seems yeah, like there's can... a lot of stuff yeah. that can just kind of catch you. But but you have like two heroes that are gonna play in front of you. And Night Stalker is always going to play in front. So, and you have two heroes oh. with uh, two supports with stuns, uh, with long range stuns uh, from behind. So, it's not that hard of a Lina game. And especially as uh, like, you have like a good range against OD. So, when he tries to like imprison you, you're going to like hit him a couple of times uh, before he does that. So, but SF can do the same thing against OD, but his game is a bit harder. Because he has to like go in and use this combo if he's gonna play the the magical build. Dude, why? Oh, is it because they're head bonk? Is that why? Uh, maybe. I think that's why we're hearing this over and over again. Uh, interesting matchup though. Looks to be very violent in nature. Compared to some Dota games that we watch. Which Good is more true. of like a farm up first and then go for one big fight, which is kind of boring. So we're excited. Aren't we, Bert? Yes, we are. You did not sound very excited with that. I need like a... I was, I was pumped. Yeah! <laughs> like a marsh scream? No, good. Yeah! Ooh, Hull City is playing. Woo! Oh. Uh, is that aggressive? Is that actually Hull City? Why the fuck is it? No, it's not. It's just Ooh. a meme. Wait, is Patience actually on this roster? I don't think I've casted 30k yet. So I don't recognize any of the roster yet. Yeah, Ultra Gunner is, Leva is, Jay is, Frenzy is, I think. 
sufficient. There, but you are no match. I think uh, Wildman Beast has covered most. Yeah, patience, correct. You yeah. Are That's their thirty kills. Dead. Team. Maybe even Badger. Dead. But uh, on we go. Looks like it's gonna be two two bounty runes. Uh, we'll, we'll wait Lame. a little bit to get the fight Lame. started. Levi is gonna block. Smiley is not blocking, so... Smiley is gonna be pushed forward to his, uh... to Jay's side. Mid lane 2. It's like a pretty decent block from Fury. Friends able to pull one over to the range ooh, creep and ooh, potentially ooh. get the deny here, nope. but he actually missed it was just a bit early with the it's Astral. Over. It was close. Game is over. Whoa, that's uh, kind of out of risky. nowhere. He still got the last hit though. He just wanted to throw a warning shot. The Gets name. the range creep deny on the high ground. This is huge for Fury's yep. start. And I think Frenzy actually got a deny there, but huge creep wave building. I think this is like Potentially Shadow Fiend favored. Seems pretty yeah. even, both of them. Uh, well, Shadow Fiend can farm in the jungle faster. But he kind of just oh, farms the, the lane. The hammer, yeah. But kind of coming back a little bit, though. Once he gets a couple more levels, it should be easier, but. Ooh, double range creep denies. It does mean if Fury leaves this lane early, maybe Frenzy can push it out with the meme hammer. And get an early tower kill. Uh, top lane, Levi getting pretty low. Aurora taking some creeps there, but Levi not going to die. He's able to pop a salve and just go right back to it. Top lane, though. We mentioned the kind of weak supports uh, from 30k. I guess the Bane's better, but the, the position for Lion, maybe not the best in this scenario. I think the Jakiro... Just bullies him out of the lane exactly like we're seeing as Levi gonna get ran down, stunned by Smiley. He does pop a fairy fire, so Levi barely surviving. Oh, and I think with you? dodging the dual breath, they might actually turn this and get first blood instead onto Aurora because the right clicks from Jay are just building up over time. He needs some help from Smiley, but there's the first blood. Levi, as well as still here, is gonna actually survive. <laughs> and one fairy fire turns that whole engagement. Big Dave is not big anymore. He's like, well, I heard you talking shit. Jakiro should probably get that first blood, but Lion somehow gets the job done. Levi with an impressive play. Uh, mm. And I caught first blood. Breadman for once. Yeah, that's... I think I missed it. Majority yeah, of Frenzy is games. being harassed a lot is way too far getting tangos only 15 cs for the pango though no. uh jay is on top of the cs charts and actually in front of the ck so we're gonna maybe get pushed out of the jungle just a little bit I mean, he's not really at too much of an xp disadvantage and actually at at an advantage to levi still able to get a pull off but maybe smiley's gonna throw yeah. out a stun uh bot lane ultra gunner is gonna get stunned up on the razor he's incredibly deep into the trees here but shrek is just hurting him down die. with right clicks Ooh, i think he's fine until the void comes Shrek just barely able kill. to get enough damage he didn't have enough right click damage there at the very end but still gets it Jack's gonna try to get the last set here. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna try, but he's not gonna get it. Pretty hard when you have only three damage to your name. Uh, it seems like the off lanes are going pretty well for both teams, honestly. Radiance bottom tower's got problems. It's that... it's better for Jay since he's like more farm. Uh, I think Shrek might just go down here. There is a nightmare okay. ultra gunner can oh, get oh. off, but he actually right clicks him with that ability. He doesn't realize. It's kind yeah. of a counter in itself. Yeah, patient has to like 
not be patient with that and like immediately like click it. But uh, yeah. Or you just wait till the plasma fields up and then let it purge the nightmare. With this slow, it might still be able to get near him. Uh, she's actually gone two two build. I did now miss a kill on the Levi's. I think Aurora might just die here. Does get a couple of procs for Jay. And eventually gets the kill and a wand should keep him alive here. He has a fairy fire too, so I think he's yeah, gonna be right fine. Around. He's pretty tanky. Yeah. yeah. But the is pushing to smiley, so this is fine. Mid frenzy does have the recipe for the meteor hammer, not quite to the void stone yet, about four hundred gold away. You can see Fury going for treads. And Courier actually flying out with that right now. Wait, not Treads. What? It is Treads. I was kind of expecting him to go bots, honestly. Patience? Fine, Botlin. They're trying to protect the, the pull here. Because it's, it's uh. Awesome. Probably right click Shadow Fiend then and look at that level advantage by the way. Uh for the Shadow Fiend right now. Basically an entire level, level. ahead. Yeah. But Frenzy has a double uh range creeps under the tower. It's gonna end up being like maybe half a level. Yeah. He's still getting level six from this too, so at least something there, but Fury's gonna go off to the jungle, found a regen rune. Good yeah, blessing yeah. on this day. <laughs> or night, should I say, because Shrek is running bottom. They get a stun from Baboon onto the Bane of Patience, but in it goes the damage sap from Ultra Gunner is gonna scare away Shrek. A lot of damage out on a Baboon too, but still no kills. Now we have the Meme Hammer up on Frenzy. Uh, top lane, there's a stun onto Aurora. Jay actually jumping in with the swashbuckle. Should be able to slow him up here, too. He also has a level 6 to commit if he wanted to. But getting a killing spree here. And not too surprising, the Shadow Fiend on top of the CS. Fury doing a really good job this game. In second on the net worth, though, is Jay. An incredible off lane for the Pango. That's after taking a triple stack. That's big. Really just starting to take off. Patience is, is going to die bottom. Eventually getting ran down by Shrek. This is just the power of the first night. Fury misses uh, one of his raises on the... Uh, oh, top, top lane, Jay draw. going for a roll. Hits Aurora once, but I think that was actually to save himself, potentially. They're trying to save... He, he tried to save uh, Levi there. It was being low. Is gonna put some uh, Levi up. with the slow. There's a stun on the Smiley, but Levi committing his lockdown. He's just gonna die here to the right click from Smiley, actually using his ulti. Uh, I guess it's not too big of a cooldown. 70 yeah. seconds, you're right. It isn't as long. It used to be about 120, 140. Uh, that's Did what you... I thought it was, yeah. Even at le I thought it was still 120 seconds at level 1, but. What is yeah, it? They just did a flat that time they... Yeah, uh, yeah it says 75, but they made the illusion damage a bit uh, lower. Which is fine, you know, because like before it was like 120 or 140. And it was too much. It's kind of Frenzy doing his thing. Fury's left the lane, so he's pushing the tower he's down with the right meteor now. hammer. Uh, yeah, Fury. Doesn't have the Yules though, so I don't know how much of a kill is possible. They need a stun from Baboon. There's nobody down here until Patience walks right into two of them. Ooh. Fury's gonna spot him in the trees, gets a nightmare off, and there's nobody else over here. Patience is just gonna back off. Yeah, and a rotation used. Fury has and to I walk see back. The opposite way happening. Frenzy is going top lane. Have the meme hammer finds Aurora in the trees, and this is a lot easier for him to find since he has the lockdown. Is gonna time the meteor hammer into the roll perfectly sent there from Jay. They will find the right clicks and the damage onto Aurora. Smiley. Levi is just barely surviving, and instead, they go for the Chaos Knight. Smiley is gonna get a kill or get killed 
by Frenzy and eventually get a triple kill onto the OD. What a rotation! Talk about two different stories. It's gonna go for the tower too. Like I expected Aurora to die there because there was like three heroes. But they first their the fight. Jay gonna get stunned Ooh. up. He should be fine here. There's a save from the Astral, but maybe it's put him just too close to the CK, and I think he's Yeah, he's so, able to get away with one swash ball. That's Pango. Um there's an Invis in mid. Fury looking for a free kill, but I think Ultra Gunner has spotted it. I'm looking at the CS so bottom lane Ultra Shrek. Shrek might just be right running now. at him. Oh, that's a hard kill. If he he's got his ulti off cooldown, and he's got phase boots too. Patience is kind of yeah. low. Yeah, but uh, there's like, another rotation again. Ooh. Fury's walking underneath a ward though, but I think Patience is just gonna spot this, go for the nightmare instead, and just continue to waste their time essentially. I think he was rotating bottom anyway to push, but even still. Oh, Jay, dying solo top. I didn't see that. I did not see that either. And there's a lot of tips coming out, so it might have been a misplay by Jay. Who knows? Well, the Tassio dying solo to a CK when he was like owning him. You never know. What if it was like an insane play by Smiley? He just like. I, I don't even know what you could do, but he <laughs> came up with something. Yeah, but they're losing mi mid tower here. You can see the emphasis on taking the mid tower that early. To open up the map, but baboon. There's, there's a, a smoke. smoke play. That is their stun. Ooh. They can find that initiation, but instead there's a smoke from the other side of things. 30k is gonna run top lane and look for Smiley. Does have the arm lit up, toggled in, and there goes Patience immediately with the Fiend's Grip. This is just as easy as it gets. Yeah. Really no response there from Headbonk. Meanwhile, Ultra Gunner is just farming up the jungle. They should trade towers here. Should put emphasis on the mid. So That's BKB a haste. queued up for Ultra Gunner. And top, they're gonna get this to about. Yeah, I think that they actually just get this. There is a fortify to use, but they're just saving it. Yeah, they have meteor hammer. It's pretty easy. Towers. Now we're gonna TP's mid lane. Fight. Do they actually spot this though? Shrek is gonna catch the razor out immediately well, after his TP. From... They might get the damage. Though the Ooh, astral sick. from Frenzy is gonna save his teammate. Fury going for the ulti is gonna find patience with the raises. Ultra Gunner trying to turn around gets the damage zap, and there's the hammer from Frenzy. Brings down the support. He's gonna get a lot of damage in the Fury as well, and I think he's gonna die after the astral. No, he's still alive, but Frenzy with the right clicks gets the kill. Shrek is trying to bring down Frenzy and might eventually get it with the right clicks but Levi is saving his core with a stun and there isn't enough time frenzy goes for the astral gets the meteor hammer on top of him and my goodness he's picked up a triple kill again the smiley trying to escape out of this and I think he's gonna be fine yeah he should be fine and no he's dropping low he can astral or not, it's not excuse me and not astral it's Arma talk about Levi just ends his life with a max range finger, Jay. He's like, he's like fuck you. It's the finger. Yeah, this, this is happening is... out. Oh, it's frenzy. Anyway. Like, the game is not going their way right now, and this is really bad for the head bonks. Why do you call them the head bonks? Oh, uh, they're just gonna get a free kill. Top lane on a patience. Fiend's grip committed, and they will get Shrek. And it's a, really a lot of things going 30k's way right now. See, there's tons of drawing here. Levi is like circling the mid lane. Protect the mid tower. Then Nora is like 
Going for a smoke play here after pushing the uh, mid wave. I was meant to have this. Ultra Gunner is still working on his BKB. He's oh. getting close. Maybe I just dropped a. Oh. Immediately gets the ward, unfortunately. I think he was spotted actually moving over there because of the ward on the cliff. Well, this, there's a sentry here, so they saw it. It was a little bit to the right. Then it will be out of the range. Are you still trying to farm up, though? We got a lot of cores going here. for BKB at the moment. So there's a four-man smoke up to the high ground. CK going to continue yeah. to farm here. It's finally just trying to get back into this game. There's a blink on Shrek. They get a jump on the J and instead a stun from the Ice Pack. But the save from Patience is Ooh. barely not going to save him. Aurora with the tick still brings him down. How close it was. A snipe basically from Baboon. The entirety of Headbonk uh, contributing to that kill. And just barely getting it. If they tried to, to stop them, uh, Frenzy was like mid-animation using Astral. But the yeah, animation was was way too slow. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Smiley just having the time of his life. Farming up the jungle. Even though he died three times, but yep. Dude, everybody's just buying BKB right now. Except for OD. Frenzy is going Agnum's. Uh, oh, that's a big guy, so he... Three other corns going BKB. And I think Ultra Gunner actually has his BKB picked up now. Yep. Uh, uh, Chris is coming. They can't really run up the high ground, though. This is a really bad spot to get caught. Aurora's sitting on here, too. Could get the Ice Path on the four. He's actually going for Jay instead. And the rest of them will walk up onto Aurora Fury. With the ulti, he's going to try to turn this. Finds Patience for one. Aurora with damage sap on him the entire time goes down. Oh. Fury commits BKB. They nice snipe blink. there. Ultra Gunner commits his BKB, but he really doesn't have armor. Fury trades out, and it gets so close. But Fury oh, wins in the end. And Jay... Stunned initially tried Nick to initiate Dagger. this fight and is trying to make his way out. There's a splink stun of Void from Shrek. Oop. He's going to get Ash rolled into the Meteor Hammer on a two. The Frenzy Hammer coming down. There's a stun for Baboon. This could be the first death for the OD. It is. Yeah, Smiley just coming in clutch here and saving the fight. Also, the, the blink pickup on, on uh, Shrek is a really good item here. Because you saw him like a couple of times, like linking in with the silence, insta silence, and disrupting the fight. But the BKB recipe for Ultra Gunner came a bit late to the fight, so he's at the end, but it was not enough. Uh, since Sheriffine is going like more, focusing more of like right click damage than magical damage. So he's a bit more tanky and uh, he has higher right click damage than. You would have liked. It okay, bot lane. Okay, he could die here. I don't think he commits to it. And no, Smiley with the Shadow Blade might spot him, but Jay, he cleaned up yeah. the creep wave with just one swashbuckle and then backs off. It's also nighttime, so this is like their power spike here. I think the draft is coming coming down to who's going to outplay the other team, though. Like, the Radiant draft is going to be on how, like, Frenzy is going to control the fights with his axe, and maybe later on with the Visa Shard. Not much good's happening to Radiant's bottom tower. And we can see Frenzy change his builds. He was going for a, a four staff, now he's going for the BKB. Knowing that BKB is a really great pickup. But they're getting a free tier 2 bot lane. Now there's really no counter for this. Counterplay at the moment. Headbonk. You know, they've lost 
couple of fights early, but they have two cores on top right now, just based on the past three, four minutes of events. Taking a tier two, that was not the right key. And they smoked underneath a ward. They're actually going to back off immediately on 30k. I don't think the Razor's going to get caught. There's a stun on the Patience. Patience will get caught. Locked under a ward, and very cheeky ward at that. I think Baboon... It's either Baboon or Aurora who placed that, but still. Good warding from the supports there. That was Baboon's uh, ward. You just select on the ward and click the magnifying glass. Oh. Uh, I, thought it used. I did not know that. It's good to know. Yeah, I don't think they're going to find anything, though. Dyer's bottom tower needs some help. No Roshan attempt from either of these teams, which I was a little surprised by. You think uh, maybe Headbonk could go for it? It's pretty hard for both teams. Like, luckily, SF is going right. Uh, damage, Smiley so. Bottom is going to spot Jay. He's got a Shadow Blade, gets the stun. He's actually Ooh. not dodged it. There's the silence from Shrek. And they get a kill on the Jay. The pullback was, was made it easier. Headbonks starting to turn this one around. I mean, we can There's look at... There's a smoke play, even though they're playing... At Orith. 4v5. I, did that ward catch that too? I don't think so. I think they're far enough away. They're gonna might run be bottom though. Late. They might spot Smiley. It's gonna be close if they run up into the triangle. Ooh. Ultra Gunner getting very aggressive here. Gets spotted on the low ground, I think. Actually, Smiley can just back off. And the wave is pushed, so that's a, a waste used uh, smoke uh, smoke fail. It's like the lane is pushing so hard, and uh, they're not gonna get anything out of that. So they try to attempt to get something, but then now they have to go back and fix the lanes. Top tower is under attack. Well, also gonna have to be top lane, big wave. Gary is going to see this with here? BKB up, and nope. oh, there isn't a stun. Baboon's uh, pushback is still on cooldown. But both teams kind of just roaming as five right now, minus Smiley. Still just farming away. Pretty he has happy BKB with that. On Smiley. We need a chrysalis after this. What does the shark do? Oh, the, it creates the illusion. um, illusions. It's pretty niche. Really is group Dota right now, though. This is... Both teams really wanting to win this game. I mean, it is pretty crucial. Being careful not to make too many mistakes at this point, because I think it's probably still 50-50. I mean, Dota Plus is giving us a 76% for a head bonk. But here's a free tier 2 for 30k. Maybe. They might be giving away mid tier 2. Would not be free. There's a TP. I don't think they can fight this, though. They have vision, and Ooh, Levi is just going to get exploded. A big snipe from the Babas. For an instant smoke too, maybe into Roshan. I don't. They're not gonna find anybody since they all TP'd back. And Baboon with a very delayed tip. Jay actually Ooh. gonna run in. They spot Ooh. underneath again. A ward on the high ground. He doesn't quite get down. But Shrek not hitting him with the silence. Instead, we've lost patience elsewhere on the map. I think Smiley just picking that up with the Shadow Blade is gonna run into Ultra Gunner. Gets damage sap for about a second and loses four damage. But now it might be Roshan. This is a good Roshan timing because they're going to have most of the ages during nighttime. And that's always big. Well, it's like they, they have Fury's BKB off cooldown again. Uh, well, it'd be ideal if Shrek had BKB, but it's still a little bit longer. That's coming. Well, this is fine. This is good because 
Like by the time it's night time again, all the the big is quick enough though. Roshan still got a lot of HP left. Ultra Gunner walking in is gonna get vision inside the pit. Ooh. They both commit BKBs, but it's still got a lot of HP instead. Yeah. Jay rolling through is not gonna snatch it. Fury picks up Aegis. There is a finger over to the side as they find the Night Stalker. Shrek's gonna die, dropping the hammer is Frenzy. As Fury goes for a couple of right clicks, it's gonna get stunned. Yeah, back from Astroed by Frenzy. They might still continue to chase though. Aurora just tried to slow him down, but they will just ditch. They got the Aegis, they got the kill on Roshan. There's a buyback from the Lion, and they only lose Shrek and Baboon, which I think you'll take. Yeah, because you're gonna like have Aegis for around five minutes during that time. And you can like force easy, easier fights. And the easiest ult of Fury's life, really. Like, it's gonna damage Roshan, it's gonna push everybody away. Make the snatch easy. Jay was close, but I think he wasn't quite next to the Aegis when it dropped. Uh, Smiley bot lane is gonna get Ooh. spotted. There's a blink from Levi into the Fiend's grip. Smiley is just gonna die here. There is a TP from Papoon, but he can do nothing. I and a like big mistake the there. I mean, they still have the Aegis, so no panicking yet. Like, they smoked three times trying to get somebody on the bot lane. Uh, they might just find two, though. Baboon is going to get blinked on Levi. Missing on the stun there. Baboon but can walk like, away. Like, this move paid off for them, because they tried it multiple times, eh, and they never were able to. But this time, they got the, the big kill, the big fish. Dyer's bottom tower is fallen. Radiant's top tower has looked better. TP top from Ultra Gunner, but quite down for a little bit. Couple of kills bled away. Away. Pressure here. Haste. They don't give away the tier two though, which I think Ah, uh, it's bottom tier two, so it's not really that big of a deal, but be the gold. It'd be nice. Uh Opposite side of things, 30k with only one outer tower still standing. But are we back to a 50-50? No. It's actually 80%. It's worse now. What are, what are, you, what are you feeling, Birdman? What are the odds... The odds for me is like 65-35 for the head bonk. That's, that's that's what I'm thinking. That's quite a bit of chance to uh, 30k though. Yeah, because if if Ultra Gunner can like tank up, and now he's like he has the plate mail and he's going for the AC, and he has refresher, so he's gonna have double ultimate. He can like clear a lot of like uh, heroes around him. It's a smoke mid lane they. Spot J, I believe. Uh, the silence, the blink first, though. There's a blink from Shrek, and he will get on top of J instead. And I think it just means the Pango is dead. Baboon even going to connect on a stun as Shrek maybe continuing to chase. He does have a BKB. There's a Smiley on the backside Frenzy. with the Shadow Blade spots. Frenzy is going to go for this. Gets the stun. There's an Astro for Frenzy defensively, but I think he gets out. Of, uh, no, he doesn't. Yep. He doesn't have a blink. And there was an ice path, so he's just dead. Patience, and, and patience is, dead. is also gone. Just as much help as and Headbonk still looking dominant. Gave away one kill on Smiley, but he bounces back. Good rotation. Yeah, Frenzy Aggressive is in BKB. Move. He's like 300 gold away, but he needs to have it before the next fight. And he's just gonna be gone in like 45 seconds, so it's not a good timing. Ooh. We're gonna mid. There is gonna be Fury ooh, spotting ooh, him. Ooh, he's ooh. invis, but there's a sentry yeah, here. No. Yeah, spider legs for the win. There's a TP from Smiley over to the outpost. Right, how much longer we got on Agus? Agus is essentially it's gone. 
Uh, Ultra Gunner Oops. gets damage sap, doesn't commit too hard, Ooh, but Jay. Jay does, gets the roll. There's a stun from the line if they can wait just eight more seconds. No, I guess Seven will seconds. get used. It comes close, but not quite. Fury Ooh. gets BKB Shrek. out, goes Backlash. for the ulti, not actually hitting anything though. The Shrek going deep, but now having to turn back around with the BKB committed from Ultra Gunner. There's a stun from Aurora, but Jay is right back on top of the Shakiro, jumping back to the low ground is Jay. And there's zero kills, technically, from all of that. It's a way to protect Fury from dying twice in a row. Also, you saw like Shrek try to like minimize the the losses by like blinking forward behind the tower with uh, with his silence. Ooh, he has a shard on Nightstalker. That's cool. I mean, he's he can, having like, heal a great game. Faster. Knows what his role is. Yeah. Luckily, he doesn't have sword ring, so he can't die like easily. Or in the last game. Midlane Frenzy might get... Yeah, I don't know. There isn't a Shadow Fiend ulti up. I think they he has BKB up this. now. They could, like, fight in 35 seconds when Ultra Gunner have his ultimate. Or they could wait for the double ult. I was waiting a full minute. Might be a bit too much. I don't know, it, it, it feels like we're going to get to a point where 30k not having a traditional core really is going to start to bite. As we did say in the draft, they, they basically flex pick Razor, OD, Pango. The last pick Pango uh, for J, which it was a great lane for Jay Ooh. and Shrek, Shrek up to the high ground goes Ultra Gunner they get the fiend script there's oh, nice nothing text. to cancel it down goes Shrek right at the start of the fight and they find Aurora on the Shakiro Astral over to Baboon he can't get away Levi played this fight extremely well like he made it like blinked in hex the Shakiro mid animation of the ice path and then he saw Baboon trying to use his uh um what is it called uh bushwhack and he immediately like stunned him. So he controlled the two supports that can stop the fight and the fiend script. But yeah, they never played this fight like extremely well. Someone better help Dyer's middle tower. Tier two gonna fall for this though. I mean, they're bouncing back. 30k. Is able to even up the towers at least. They're still not quite even on net worth. But it's basically, okay, even on XP. Kind of late res uh, respawn. A minute and 35 seconds right now. Close game. I thought yeah, feels Head Bonk was going to run away with it, but. Yeah, the, the laning and the rotation of. Of Fury didn't pan out, and that's what ma what made the game a bit a bit harder. Like usually, if, even if you're on the lane, if you do like bad rotations, and the enemy player from the same lane does better rotations, then it's gonna diminish all. Well, I mean, all the games I, I that don't you think have. you can really ask for too much better from the rotation yeah. on Frenzy. Frenzy has gem now. Patience, maybe gonna get a ward down. He's not gonna see anybody though. His smiley's already backed away. So I was going for a blink. That's cool also to like help uh, Shrek when he jumps jumps in. They could use the spells on him and then he can follow up with another blink. Danielus is picked up on Fury and he's going for uh, Hurricane Pike. Bot lane's really oh, gonna no. think about farming this, but there's a trade. Ultra Gunner gonna get stunned. Mm. Who's gonna get the jump? The stun for Baboon misses, but he can still connect on the ulti. Not a chance for Ultra Gunner. Ooh, that was that was that was big. Cause he's gonna he wanted to like go around and check if anybody is there. If not, he's gonna like farm it and leave. Yo, Levi. There's 
couple it they can't really fight without Jay. There's only two of Headbonk there, but they will back off. Oh, the Headbonks. Coming strong this game. And Roshan is up right now. Also, again, perfect timing because Roshan here. Having Roshan for the full five minutes, the age is under the, the night time. Roshan, pretty quick this time. There's a shard. Let's gonna get the shard. We're gonna give it to. Are we not? I think Aurora should get it right. Unless I wanna give it to. Aurora's probably. Oh, oh, they're gonna get a jump. Uh, I didn't even see him there, Jay. Jay try was trying to cut and like. On that, they have a ward on the cliff, which makes this a hell of a lot easier. And of course, the catch from Blink Night Stalker. Baboon with the long distance done, and I think. Oh, they give the shard to Fury. Yeah, just free crits. He's Ooh. doing a lot of right click Jump. now. Shrek is just going to go in, solo. Play. Gets a lot of damage into the oh, line patience. there, but regening some. There is a Fiend's Grip, but he gets stunned this time. They can cancel it. They get the kill on a Patience and find Jay on a buyback Ooh, there. A nice ice, ice path on the two from Aurora into the hammer, trying to turn this around, but it's not going to be enough because Smiley has gotten a lot of damage into Ultra Gunner. He has to use his BKB defensively there. They got rid of the Aegis, so at least they got something with the ODLT, but now Fury can just turn around oh, and Jay, right click not... Jay, getting deleted. Because, oh, uh, I've never seen somebody getting stuck there. Like that's a glitch. That's a, like an area glitch, hundred percent. Dude, it's around all the stairs. I swear to God. No, no, but 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 it was here. Like it was not uh, like on the stairs. It was like next to the stairs. That's what it's like. Whenever there's a cliff and there's like a ramp next to it, because it happens mid all the time, uh, like near the river. Uh, but beautiful ice path Ooh. from Aurora, though. Kind of a quiet game for the Jakiro, but I mean, it's support yeah, life. He, he got on in lane, and uh, his contribution fights were ice path uh, in most cases. But ice path is like a very strong spell. So. Tower's gonna melt. Fury just really starting to hit hard. Aegis committed. The Ultra Gunner is getting super close there, but not gonna jump quite yet. Shrek maybe looking for a different target. Pops Ooh. the ulti, runs in the back. He's got Lotus Orb as well. Gets his void onto Ultra Gunner, right. but he can still back off, and they're just clearing space just to clearing try and take the tower. <laughs> Fortify is used. Ultra Gunner is gonna push them back. But now comes the creeps. The fortify has been used. You just keep pushing. They have the Jakiro too. The stun on the OD. They get vision plus the stun from Lion. They nice elongate it. But the instant buyback from Frenzy to try and win this fight. Smiley jumping again on the patience as BKB on cooldown. Having to back away now as Fury goes for the ult. Yeah, pushes ground. Ultra Gunner back. Look at the damage from the Shadow Fiend. They get Ultra Gunner. And I believe that's actually a dieback from him since he bought back earlier. And a gem on the deck. Fury's actually gonna die here to Frenzy. I don't think it's gonna matter. Smiley is still in the middle of this fight. Jay is gonna try and find a kill. If they can get the CK, this would be huge. But oh Jay again God. is gonna get stuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, this this whole like top wave, top lane is cursed. I can assign you to Jay is fuck the zero. Only four on two. Terrains. We'll see if they keep pushing. They probably do. That's a dieback okay, on yeah. the OD. Like, Smiley has ultimate in like five seconds. Oh, they blink four. Jay somehow gets out of that, but you know, he's actually stuck back in. Smiley got the pull. And that was a sidestep from Smiley. Like, he didn't get the stun. So he, like, sidestepped, and he didn't get uh, the spike. Uh, air spike. Yeah, Smiley BMing. I don't think they call GG. 
Well, anyway, they're gonna play an extra right? item. I don't know. Hopefully. You're saying that like they weren't. I assume they were. Ooh, Smile Square just died. Wait, was that a Daedalus? Yeah, that, that was his, um, Silver Red. There's a Skull Basher on one of those couriers, too. His yeah, Ultra Gunner just gonna run and go right after Smiley, trying to get the TP out. Will complete, but they run after Baboon instead. Shrek is able to back away. Baboon dropping. There's a lot of damage from the Razor. They don't get Megas. And we're still in it. It's just like de de delaying the inevitable, but yeah. Shrek. Shrek's trying to get. I don't know why oh, he's, he's going doing for the that. gem. He's going for the gem. Oh. And nobody sees it. <laughs> yeah, Ultra Gun is just like being this right now. Patience seeing that it's gone. Ooh, Drugs are clocked. That's a big item. Dude, I, thought, I thought we'd see the eggs on Ultra Gunner by 40 minutes. He's got one part of it, the Refresher, now going for the Agnums. Well, well, you need to get AC against like SF going right click damage, and you have a CK which has like an insane right click damage. He's gonna he have the. Out? Does he? He doesn't yeah. have buyback, right? I he feel doesn't like have. He, buyback. No, he has buyback, but anyway, you're you're already two racks down. Like saving for buyback now, it's just not even worth it. It's buy out they need the to eggs win like some satanic up next if that happens. Because they need to win like two fights in a row. In a clean way, to to be able to have a like win it. Everybody on Headbox has buyback too. Big items. But they swords. For the CK most probably. Or even Shrek. No, Shrek is gonna go for the spell prison. So it's like ultimate what 106 seconds right now. Dude, everybody's getting upgraded blinks now too, since we've had so many blinks in this game. Well, Shrek has a like Shrek has Basher uh, in the career, so help him out plenty. But the rest of the team is actually bottom. They're gonna spot them split up right now. Does he have bots? Ooh. It's not. He can go to the oh Bash. So there's a jump from Jay and Shadow Blade committed. They're thinking about it. Ultra Gunner kind of tiptoed back and forth. Shrek just TP'd in, so that could be a good time to fight. Or they're still sitting to the side. He's able to get down. Ward on the other side ooh, of the trees, ooh, and since they didn't lose that gem, this is pretty safe. And there's a stun. They see Ultra Gunner over here, but he's got BKB, and I don't think they can commit too much more. Baboon already using the stun on the creep wave. There's uh, nobody close by to full up. This huh? is like, they're so close to each other, but they don't want to fight. <laughs> 27k net worth lead for Headbond. And the other plus says 99% win probability for the Headbond. Yeah. Especially if they get an extra Sean, too. Maybe. There's a Roshan fight, and 30k somehow finds a way to win. Like 30k can can win a fight if Shrek can, I mean not Shrek, Jay can get like a good initiation. Because Ultra Gunner has Refresher and Axe, and with that you can like hit four targets with, with Eye of the Storm. And he's like, like close to level 25, so... I think we're just waiting on a smoke. It, it seems like they want to smoke. It's on Courier. Going out to Levi. Instantly going to pop it. Ultra Gunner is instead mid. Just pushing out the wave. Is maybe going to show here as they try and get a bait. There's a missed stun from Baboon. 
And Fury thinking about taking the bait. Does. There's a stun from Levi. Gets onto the stun. Lotus Orb returns it. There is Smiley in the middle of this fight. Gets a stun on the patience. Everybody just melting now underneath the macro pyre. Frenzy trying to turn it around, but he can't. He gets bashed by Shrek. They've lost two. They both have to buy back. As they lose the Frenzy, they're going to lose the core and Ultra Gunner as well. And I think Levi's just going to be next after the buyback. This will be his dieback. Patience with a dieback. And Levi eventually going to tick down. And like that two, should be it. There was like two fights and like separated from each other. You saw Ultra Gunner and uh, Levi now They're, they're going to continue to try and fight this. It's a buyback from Ultra Gunner. Shrek is getting chased down. He's able to pop cheese, I believe that was. And Ultra Gunner still with a decent amount of damage stolen up to 60. Can finish off Shrek. And this game is still going. They fortified. The racks bottom are still standing. And they do they commit buybacks for this head bonk? I think they could just end the game if they do buy back. The outpost is up for a TP. I don't think any of them have bots. Or they just wait the 30 seconds. Ah. You can play it safe and maybe take portion. How is this game still going? Yep, yeah, I think. Ah, uh, well, bottom. I'm also going to might oh, just be the die back. This is probably now just game. I know, GG. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, he just calls it after that death. Darkness hungers. Dire victory. Headbonk take game one. Uh, it was a very brawl heavy game as as we anticipated. But yeah, a couple of mistakes and not having like some heroes that could uh, in the late game. Made the, fight, um, made the game much harder for the 30k team. That was a cool draft to see. But the Night Stalker made the, the game like way too hard for them. Kind of just played on a back foot for most of it in a game where really felt like they had the snowball a lot harder from there. They had a pretty good laning stage. Like, Maybe not the best lane bottom is Ultra Gunner died a couple of times, but... Yeah, their transitioning to the mid-game was pretty good. I mean, the ending of the uh, um, laning phase. But then the Night Stalker blink was was way too hard for them to control. And that's what made their game much harder. Also, like, Frenzy's BKB was way too delayed. Like, he died, like, once or twice, like, being so close of having it. And that had a huge impact. By the way, Lobby's up. Shit. Okay, since Lobby is up, uh, they said five minutes break. I'm just gonna okay. do my thing. Break. And yeah, we'll be back.
Surprise, surprise. We're back. Now we're actually back. Dom break their band yet again? Yeah, I'm surprised about that band, but whatever. Five seconds remaining. Who you feeling game two? Uh, as a team? Oh. Ryan was like playing with their emotions at the end of the game. I was like saying, just call it. <laughs> That's what you call that? Yeah, like it, it, it goes into your, into your head. I don't think so. You weren't here at the lobby chat, bro. I'll check on our... Koryak is sitting in the caster channel with us. Five seconds. You'll Whatever reason. This close. Ultra Gunner was fine with it. So there's a little bit of, like... Friendliness. Oh, so they saw the United Star. Pretty sure they know each other. I don't know, like, who the friend groups are in League of Lads, rash. so... Bloodseeker. Do I bring Birdman on? Not the... the in Scope. Bloodseeker? Bloodseeker is a really good pick against so. Ten seconds see remaining. Uh, uh, I'm not into the uh, uh, conversations as much as I used to. So. You gotta, you gotta hop in Gen Chat more, dude. I don't know if Gen Chat other than to say fuck MX Squire. I used to do that before, but not anymore. I don't have the shame. Yeah, whatever. Look, if MX Squire's ego gets too big, like world-ending event. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Gotta control it. Five seconds, you're chatting this close. I'll be back in a second. Very similar draft. Last game. Hello, Mike Tess. Mike Tess, Opening. one, two, three. Night Stalker, Bane. Burn, Stealing man. the Night Stalker pick there. Wreck. And pretty well, first game. The Night Stalker and... And continue that trend potentially on the blood seeker this game we'll see where they put it i think it could go in a couple of different places and Same still be fine remaining. for shrek or uh, maybe mid lane Five too but we'll see team pick. Radiant team pick. Ripper. Uh, Hoodwink again, too? Is PayPal just stealing... Ten seconds Are they remaining. just stealing the draft? Five seconds remaining. I think they might just be trying to fuck with them, honestly. Is a legit strat? Can't beat them, join them, I guess. But also beating them with the draft they just beat you with is like, I guess, kind of cool. Radiant team pick. Disruptor. Lockdown that in game. I see quite a couple of cool plays from Levi. Yeah, hopefully we can see that. We can do the same thing with the hook. Yeah, I think he's on a hero that can potentially do a little bit more early game. Should be interesting. Disruptor, though, is a decent catch for both. I mean, for basically all three heroes picked at the moment. Uh, yeah, long range cancel for the Venus script, uh, the glimpse, and some. Kind of control spells against the Night Stalker. Uh, 
without using his ultimate with the kinetic field. And good setup for the blood drive as well, so there's some synergy there. Yeah, and they still need... But they probably have both supports now. Unless they go like Weaver offlane and Disruptor is a position, uh... Position boy. Ember Spirit. Nah. Same Ember Spirit. Spirit, that's a weird pick against the nice stock. They do have some good catch on Headbonk, though. I feel like it's kind of a scary game for a Weaver into Bane because just have that disabled instant setup basically if you run underneath Sentry or something. Well, that's a support Weaver, so okay. It's still gonna scout though. Yeah. Which is basically all you need for Ember Spirit Bloodseeker to do their thing, Disruptor as well. It's gonna be a hard uh, Ember game. Especially against a nice soccer. Well, and I feel I was gonna say like I feel like it's a lot up to the night stalker. Radiant team, bang. Juggernaut. And the night stalker makes space for his teammates because yeah, you're right. Just jump on top of drop their Ember Spirit. I mean, probably Ember Spirit most fights. We'll see a very similar game to Shrek's last seconds. game. What's the hold up side side team, in terms of item build. Probably gonna get like blink or something, I would assume. Yeah, he has to. BKB. Or the instant cancellation. I mean the instant jump. Actually I don't even know BKB is that great this game. I guess it's still, it, like it, it's worth it Rapture, but obviously Bloodseeker can do his. Yeah, but I think he's gonna use his ultimate on one hero. Like four, like three heroes gets BKB. Yeah, but what heroes is he gonna use, use it on right now? I feel like it's gonna be Night Stalker if, if he's the one initiating. Ten seconds remaining. Cal still needs mid laner though, and actually see the Ember Spirit already picked up. We can see another respect ban here with the Arc Warden. Frenzy. Arc, Arc Warden. So is it offlane Bloodseeker then? Go core? Uh, they usually play Bloodseeker as a core, as a plus one. But against Jogger, then. Five seconds. You're cutting this. Hit Lord Patch. No. Hello, Mike Tess. Mike Tess, what does it? Uh, I don't know. You need something to get another spin. Definitely not Pango. Oh, uh, never mind. They are doing offlane Bloodseeker. They're switching it up. Unless it's an offlane PA, but probably. Not. I've seen. You really want to see? Well, back in the day, back in Dota 1, the meta was like playing PE, going to the secret shop, getting your Ring of Region, using the oh, using daggers to like last set creeps, and getting Fury by 20 minutes and accomplish something. That was like, I used to do that a lot back in Dota 1. Played core in Dota 1. Nobody knew what score what support. Nobody knew like what sword, so you would do whatever you want to do. What? Like there wasn't yeah, like no, there like, was definitely roles in Dota One, right? Not not as concrete as in like in Dota Two how it came. Yes. Like yeah. it it was like way too casual. Like when you used to play with friends, like, oh he this guy is better than me, regardless of what he's playing, he's gonna last hit because like I'm bad at last hit or whatever. 
that's like how like priority and like who's gonna farm in lane. Dude, that sounds like such a good time. You need to go back, Birdman. Yeah, but that was like what, fourteen, fifteen years ago. Well, League of Lads can just become a Dota one. Choose your hero. Yeah. I don't know if people would actually play it, but <laughs> maybe for like a season. Uh, everybody is like tricked the fuck out. Oh my god. And you have Jay. Only has the immortal. Actually, I think he's got pants too, but soccer's the same. Well, well, the bane set sets are awful. So all the bane sets are awful, though. Like, oh, Bane's like Dragon Knight. that hardly has any. It has like two, and both of them are crap. He just, he just have like a cool taunt. Actually, he has like two immortal pieces. He has a headpiece and a backpiece. Yeah, but like, that's all you have to work with. Like, it sucks. He needs a couple more items at least. Look at what Hoodwink has, dude. That's a completely different hero. And Hoodwink came out like a year and a half ago. Or what? however long it was. I don't even remember at this point. Has it been? Been around a year. Since Hoodwink came out? No, dude. What's, what's the last hero that came out? Hoodwink. For real? Yeah. Wasn't Grimstroke? Dude, what the fuck? No, it wasn't Grim Grimstroke. Grimstroke got released in uh, 2018, you know, 17. During TI7. And it was like, it's released now, and like people like went bonkers and started like, playing that hero. Oh yeah, and then Monkey was before that. Yeah, Monkey was TI6 when I was there. Monkey and Underlord were released at the same time. Yeah. yeah. It's all falling what the heck else was? What, what is post Grimstroke? Is this seriously oh, Hoodwink as the last hero to come out? So, they announced Grimstroke and then two days later they announced Mars. During the event. I was gonna say, I thought it was like Mars or something that came out last. And then after after Mars, he got Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker. Then after Dawnbreaker, he got Hoodwink. I thought Dawnbreaker and Hood came out at the same time, even. Yeah. Dawnbreaker was played at TI, Hoodwink was not pickable. This latest TI? Huh? Wasn't everything? That Hoodwink. Dude, I'm going crazy. I could have sworn Hoodwink was pickable. Yeah. Or I thought it was Dawnbreaker. Was. Never mind. Am I like? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right. No, no, Hoodwink I think was picked. But... Yeah, I could have sworn because it it was decent for the the break that it used to apply. Oh, the the last year I was released was Marcy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We're both idiots. <laughs> I just straight up didn't know. I was thinking so, it was like Mars or something. I was like, holy I shit. Was, I was thinking about Hoodwink as Marcy. I totally forgot about that hero. I literally forgot about Marcy, dude. I don't think anybody plays Marcy. I don't like playing this. I've literally not seen a Marcy in my pubs, like, since the hero came out. It's like I've every game, it. and then it got nerfed, and now nobody plays it. Uh, anyway, Ultra Gunner dodging a silent top lane. He's just I gonna go for a spin you. on the Shrek. Mid lane, it is melee versus melee. Frenzy on the DK versus Fury. Ember. How do you feel about the mid matchup? Frenzy is a gold tier on, on Dragon Knight. Usually, like, people like Kate playing, like, Dragon Knight, Viper. Dude, look at his set. This dude's gotta play yeah. a lot of DK. This is like, wait, is this on? This isn't custom. Where? What even is this from? Uh, except the shield or whatever. I think the, this is from the latest cache that was released. The dope set. It doesn't really match DK's like form or color scheme at all, but 
Whatever, we, we ditched that a long time ago. Uh, top lane Abbas Abbas is taking a bit of damage. I don't think there's going to be a kill. Instead, they go for patience, misses out on the Sakuchi, and nothing happens. PA is basically a base PA skin, too. Since Smiley doesn't have the Arcana. He doesn't have the Arcana, but he has the headpiece. Just the headpiece. There's something. It's got some cool stuff. Uh, quiet. Early on in this game, the last game, kind of brawly this game. Um, not too much there. kill potential. Top lane, it looks like we might get a kill. It was close, but not close enough. There's actually a lot of damage traded from Fury and Frenzy too, but I think Frenzy just puts levels into Dragon's Blood. And at a point, he out-regens the Flame Shield unless uh, Fury's going to be maxing it, which it looks like he is. Yeah, the better the sling goes, the better it's going to be for DK. Uh, bot lane, Levi's going to get locked in. There's another Deggy Smiley! Gets first blood! And a great catch from Aurora, who's continuing. Pretty good series. I, again, he struggled in lane last game on the Jakiro just a bit, but came back in the mid game when it mattered. Couple of nice ice packs. Oh, not there. going that well. Like they're low at HP. And there's. Uh... Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna die. He has to die. His career is dead. He has no HP. Ultragon has no HP. And he just like got his like uh, career. And it gave him a few tangos. So. Oh my God! I I'm missing kills. I don't even know how that would happen. Ultra Gunner just spins and yeah. brings down the Weaver Baboon. Baboon already uses Sekushi, but it wasn't cooldown. So he just like ran at him and used. Uh, oh, mid lane. There's a stun on the Fury. I don't think Frenzy can get this kill. He's just trying to get as much damage with right clicks. Gets him down to about 60 HP. But DK is starting to win out. 85 right click both. damage compared to 65. He's literally got 20 more damage. Yeah. He can also control both of the, uh, the water runes. He's got more denies too. 19 and 0 on the Ember and 16 and 6 on the DK. And, you know, the 6 deny is actually leading to a little bit of an XP advantage. It's gonna be too big, but I think Fury did miss a little bit of that wave. Boom. Gonna drop a little bit though, did it? Frenzy actually dropping close to um. death. I don't think he dies here. Slide of Fist not going to do enough damage because of the armor from Dragon's Blood, but this is helping out the Bloodseeker. That's always the thing in games where Bloodseeker is picked. If you can get your lane partner yep. low, you're helping out one of your oh, other lanes. Yeah. This is a bad bad time to die. Uh, uh, the lesson was. I missed it. I'm guessing Fury just ran him down with Flame Shield. That's... Yeah. And the Flame... Oh. How... I mean, he, he did kind of kill him with flames. It only makes sense, right? Yeah, but as a DK, you shouldn't, like, the perspective of, like, playing DK that you should never die mid lane. And might be a tough game from Frenzy from here on out. It's going well, too. Like, he, he put the Ember back, but... I mean, basically all Fury did was walk back or TP back into the lane and pop Flame Guard three times. Um. Three to one nonetheless, head bonk up early, about a 1k gold lane. Ultra Gunner is only level four top lane too, with an XP advantage to Shrek. Yeah, Ultra Gunner is struggling a bit top lane. Not going that that great for them. A lot of damage on the Smiley bot lane too. We have not talked about bottom at all, but I feel like other than the, the one kill we saw in Levi for first blood, it's been pretty quiet down here. Maybe some harass from Jay. He's actually on top 
the CS shards. Oh, Jay is having another incredible game. Uh, Frenzy dropping again. low. He's just dead to the spirits. And that's even DK ulti on cooldown. Oh. Massive tips. Yeah, the entire team getting in on that. Uh, dude, literally two games in a row, Jay has out CS'd uh, the court, the carry. He's the out CS smiling. He's one of the highest MMR players in the offline, but like, like you can He's have like forty six and ten. Like even the denies are really That's contributing. So nice. Oh god, dude! I, I'm like too busy paying attention. But oh, Ultra Gunner is gonna die. Uh maybe actually gonna live. He barely <laughs> gets out. Stop walking, stop walking, he does live. Oh um, god, I'm missing kills everywhere. His things are just happening across the map. All at the same time, they get a kill bot lane okay. onto Levi. Smiley dropping low, though, can go invis for a bit. Turns around, goes for the kill, gets it! Fury! <laughs> just enough damage as Smiley survives with 20 HP. And Aura's gonna, like, TP in. Aura's gonna TP in with items. the salve. Yes, he is. Dude, what a bro. I hate... Aurora deserves a tip for that, but of course he isn't. He isn't gonna. That's pretty poggers play right there. Support um, sacrifice so much, Birdman. He got double south, not. Uh, on Smiley might just go down again because Jay, with the ulti still being up now, Ooh. he's actually just gonna turn. What oh, a send back from Aurora! He went all the way back to Fountain. And he got the kill. Oh my god. I didn't even know that was four seconds. He just went back to Fountain. Shrek is getting ran down top lane. His Frenzy is going for a very similar rotation to last game. But he's juking for now. He's in the trees. He eventually is going to get spotted. They find Baboon whole city on his own. Oh. No, that's patience. Our patience, god damn it. It's going to get you, bro. I was glance of value out of the corner of my eye. Frenzy. He's. Um, it's a good rotation, it, though, again. Like, he's getting something back. He's not going to take a tower, unfortunately, but. He's not going to get. Like, most probably, he was going to take his. Uh, like, Frenzy's tower before Frenzy takes uh, the Radiant Tower. About half HP. Fury ahead slightly. Tower damage. Uh, we can go to net worth, and Fury's on top, followed by PA. And Jay going, going for Smiley here. again. We'll drop this time. Escaped with his life twice, and will eventually fall. Levi's going to return a tip there. Is Jay just going to dive for Aurora? Needs a couple of right clicks from Levi as some help. Shrek going to get rewarded for this though. Goes for the TP and is going to run yeah, down yeah. Jay. And Shrek gets a kill. Not gonna get Levi, I assume, unless he has enough move speed. Shrek is quick, is gonna continue to chase here. He's got the silence. If he wants to try and get a kill, but no, yeah, the stun's too long. He's pretty yeah. quick, though. I mean, some slow. Yeah, but can, like, farm top lane, get some free experience. Good times for the head bombs. It's only one key lead, but. The damage that they've done in the laning stage is way too big. And you look at Fu uh, excuse me, I keep mixing up Fury and Frenzy. Dude, two mid laners, both with names that start with F. Yeah. And that's really where the similarities end, <laughs> but it still messes me up. Somehow. Like, like when you pick TK, like by 10 minutes mark, you should at least like take in the mid tower, or, or the mid tower is like around. Like 15% HP, but that's not even the case here. Smiley might just get spotted here. There is a Fiend's Grip up. I'm gonna get a free kill Ooh. on the PA if they get it. He goes invis right for a couple of seconds, but Levi with the snipe should be enough to finish this off. They still don't quite have the damage. Miss on the Ooh, stun, the, the tree side. got deleted. Smiley. He's going to have to continue to chase with Jay, and it might just lead to a death for Patience, but Frenzy's going to come in from the side, get a stun back on the Baboon. They're going to go for Aurora as well. 
and straight away one kill to take three. And just a numbers game really there for 30k. Oh, Jay is going for a Midas. You can see it. It's gonna delay his blink though. Is that really worth it? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe he's expecting blink on DK sooner. There is Nightmare on his Shrek. They don't have the Fiend's grip, of course, so... Begin is just gonna back off patience instead. Shrek running after him. There's a TP in from Frenzy too. He doesn't want to commit to this too hard instead. Goes for Rupture on the J. I still don't think they can fight this though as Fury comes in from the side. A snipe is there for yeah, Baboon. Yeah. Fury is trying to bring down Patience. We'll get the silence. And the Bloodseeker gonna pick up the kill and look how quick Shrek is Ooh, the send back on a Frenzy. Do they have lockdown though? Aurora with the field on cooldown for another five seconds. They're gonna continue to chase and get another silence. Frenzy goes down to Fury. Dude, they're losing a lot of map control too. Look at where Smiley is playing right now. He doesn't care. He looks like his team is just swapped like four heroes. Well, Ultra Gunner's yeah. trying to find as much space as he can. Baboon just messing with him a little bit. But, yeah, Headbonk starting to slowly take over this game. They lost the bot tier one, they've taken mid and top. That was the only like, bad play that they did in the whole like landing phase. I'll no. send back on a patience. They get chains, they get a silence, they get a static field. Dodge Ooh. there from patience, it dodges everything and he might just be able, no. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, top lane, Jay. It was cool. I I'm pretty sure they saw the Midas. And they were like, just go on. Yeah, down. they could just yeah, immediately die, punish yeah. it. Smiley, thinking about blinking in, has another dagger soon as the creeps are chasing the Night Stalker. He doesn't have TP. It's still on cooldown for another 20 seconds. Shrek maybe going to hunt him down as Jay continues to hide. He does have ulti. So he could fly out of here, but instead there's a TP mid. That's where their attention is drawn as Levi gets bugged up. Ultra Gunner finds a free kill onto Baboon's Courier. There's a silence for Ultra Gunner, though. Oh, it's committed from Aurora. If they get the right clicks, it should be enough to save again from Patience. He is right on the dot with these. Ultra Gunner gets the healing ward off. It's just going to not die. He dies again, Patience. You're making some sick plays, but it's just not paying off. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard when you do those type of plays. This is, but you're way, way behind. Like, they're cool, but you're not gonna get to work those big plays. Well, and it's like, if he could somehow get Omni Slash off or something after that, like, maybe it turns it. But he just yeah, has but... to start backing away as Jay top lane has to use ulti defensively instead. They go for the chains, they're gonna find damage. Fury is diving for this, not gonna get the kill, and instead goes to Shrek with the silence. But send back immediately for Ultra yep. Gunner, uses the spin to counter it, so that's on cooldown for a little bit, but it might still just be aggressiveness from Headbunk. Looking to push here, Ultra Gunner running into the trees. They see Baboon with the sentry, but they can't quite find the stuns. Patience with Fiend's grip up. The snipe misses on Baboon. I don't think it would have killed anyway. <laughs> the tip exchanging in this series. Oh, glimpse on Patience. Uh, there is a toast for Patience. I mean, he's just <laughs> out. And he, he, can't really can't even test him anymore Ooh. as Baboon is just that gonna is. beat him a kill. Dude, Patience is this is a good bank game. Yeah, like like he's he's doing the plays that he has, that he can do. And he's pushing above his weight. But until now, like they're way too behind. So he needs to keep the, doing that. You'll take the kill there though, it's something. Yeah. No, no, like I'm I'm not saying anything bad. I'm like he's he's doing more than he he should do. Uh, mid lane, they're gonna look 
to get aggressive Ooh. again. Frenzy with the Blinko. Roar with the two-man ulti. Static Storm on the both. They get a rupture back on the J. So J is going to have to stand and spot. Ultra Gunner trying to get into this with the spin, but he really doesn't have any damage onto Roar. He goes with this Omni Slash. As Shrek is flying all over the place, is very low on HP. Can't really pair with Ultra Gunner here. Doesn't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Fury going to look for Chain's Slide of Fist instead, but he doesn't quite have the mana. Ultra Gunner goes for the spin TP. Is going to be able to get out. It's a one for one. But yeah, I think Aurora trades his life and he's still happy with that. Yeah, you just killed the Inez Sucker. He has minus minus on. Uh, but now they're gonna lose Shrek. No, the block! Get down, Mr. President! Baboon! I think I think he saved him there. Was there enough HP on Shrek to actually live? I didn't see it, so. I would believe you. It, I, I don't know, it looked like it would have killed. It, it makes that way more impressive. <laughs> if it would have killed. Pretty boring though, if it didn't. You can see now Frenzy is like Are lagging. Are they gonna find his... Fury? They get a silence, Ooh. they get a stun, they got the vision, Frenzy with the stun. There's a send back for Patience so he can't follow but the Fiend's He's grip. Fine. There isn't Spirit oh. back on the Patience. He doesn't find him though. The Nightmare instead, oh. they're caught. The snipe from Baboon. Across the map, they find Fury. They're gonna go for Baboon as well. The supports of 30k are absolutely killing it right now. There's a send back. Again, Aurora might just get saved. No, the blink stun from Frenzy gets the job done. This is what they need to, to do, but they have to do it like three to four, three to Dude, four times. Holy shit. Like for me, what I'm saying, what I'm seeing right now, like the supports are doing like way too. They're they're doing their job on this team, but the way the the three cores are just what I've been waiting for. playing their game and it's just like off the mark. Baboon is gonna spot Ultra Gunner. They oh. both run into each other. There is a sentry, but without Fiend's grip, it's hard to set up that kill. They would have had a nightmare, but really nothing to follow up. They get blinks done from Smiley, Frenzy. They could go for it now. Baboon's still in the area. It's gonna run back underneath the sentry if he's not careful, and if they have vision, it's gonna run back towards the wrath of Team Fury. Oh, jumping Levi. forward is instead gonna find Levi. It's a nightmare back onto Shrek, and I think Patience is gonna be the last one to die. So the rest of the team has made their way out. And well, I kind of jinx the supports there, don't I? Oh well. That's fine. They're creating space for us for gonna to farm and catch up. Because he needs to catch up against the PU. Baboon is being such a pest to Ultra Gunner. I like what B Baboon is trying to get here. He's, he's going for the Yules. Which is a good item against the... The Night Soccer before his BKB. Dude, Fury is just walking these. in right now. He's gonna show underneath the creep wave. There's a silence for Frenzy. He oh, doesn't Frenzy. have the blink off cooldown. Gets ruptured. And he should die to Smiley. Yeah, he got double critted. Said Jay making his way out. They're not gonna find the Night Stalker. Jay's still behind on his BKB. He needs his BKB time. DD in the river. I feel like this game still feels like a, a 60 40 maybe. Probably 60 for head bunk. 40 for 30k. Or should we just say 70 30? Also, why do you call them bonkers, dude? The head bonkers are a different team. Like, entirely. We have two bonk based teams this season. Uh, Jay is gonna get sent back to silence. Not gonna get Bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, it's, it's easier to say head than head bonk. Yeah. yeah, but the, it's, it's, I'm saying head bonkers yeah, 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 yeah. is literally another team. <laughs> like, if they're playing against each other, 
which we guess at that game. Uh, that was a good game. The Battle Ooh. of the Box, which we might see a rematch up in playoffs. You guys should rig that to make it happen. Oh, BKB is up on J now. Even though like B has the ages, but they could go for a fight here. Twenty-four, fourteen. No, Smiley just still seems content with farming. But smoke mid lane frenzy maybe looking for blink stun. Oh. Not gonna get vision though. Instead, I do see oh. fury. That's also a target. They get the stun from frenzy. Can they get the kill though? He dodges. No, he actually gets hit there by the snipe. Couldn't get far away. Got slight of fist off, but didn't have a spirit. And no BKB on Fury. Actually, he's not even going BKB, he's going Lincoln's Fear. Big kill. Um, this is what they need. Get uh, lucky there. He might even get a tier 2. No. DK form up. That's pretty hard. 20 it's seconds really until to... Ember back up. It's not nighttime. About two minutes until. With Fury coming back up, maybe Headbonk looking to get aggressive. Baboon running forward is going to get spotted by the wards here. There's a Fiend's Grip if they want to commit it. No, it's just Nightmare. And walking away back towards Jay. Smiley is trying to pick up a freebie, but doesn't have the damage. He needs to be careful. He's just going to walk into a Fiend's Grip. And there isn't a stun. Smiley... Getting way too greedy. We'll lose Aegis. I guess he's got Aegis, so he's not really being greedy. It's, it's fine. He's just going to come back and actually go for another kill. Get picked up on the patience. Couldn't quite find Ooh, the kill. Smiley. But instead, Baboon is going to die now. Will. No, Baboon's fine. I'm wrong twice. Fury is just cleaning up after oh, respawning the here. static storm back on the Ultra Gunner. All right. There were multiple times in that fight where I thought Headbonk. It was not going to go well, but prove me wrong. They they win that fight. Yeah, the the PayPal team is it's way under farmed on the, the heroes that they need to be farmed. Like talking about Frenzy and Jay here. Like Frenzy is like tacky. He feels tacky, but he's not. And there's tons of control in this game, like with the Bloodseeker and the Disruptor and the Disturbance of the Weaver. It's too much to handle for them right now. Shrek working on BKB, gonna help him out a little bit. Patience without Fiend's Grip. They do go for a smoke, but he can't walk up to the high ground. Aurora's just going to spot this. They get a silence instead. This time the silence connects. He oh, couldn't Jay's. dodge it with the Nightmare running into Aurora. There is a BKB committed from Jay as they Jay's have to die. back off for now. But the damage from Smiley is too much. Shrek is going to start cleaning them up. They've lost the Night Stalker. They lose the DK. They're going to lose Ultra Gunner down to Fury. And this might... I don't know if you call GG here, man. but this is not looking good. It's probably two sets of racks. Sin's expectation. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this team is is pretty good. When, when I don't like understand like it. Just, the, what yeah, they were before. six and eight coming into the series. They were. They were. They were five and five. Five. Uh, five and five was thirty k. Yes, going into this. So Headbonk is currently eight and eight. Golden opportunity to jump into the upper bracket. Should there be an upper bracket if the playoffs are that? Five and seven is PayPal is thirty k. But again, like I was, Headbonk came into the series six and eight. Uh, PayPal S can still bounce back. Yeah, but they're in a rough spot right now. Was it six series, six games left to play? 
So each team has 10 series to play. PayPal has played six matchups, so they have four left. Well, had Bong, they already eight. played six, eight. They played eight, so they have two two matches up, two matches left. So PayPal still have like double the amount of games that Head Bong has uh, has to play. I think so they're still could, in a fine spot. They could catch up. But it's not gonna be easy. Uh like with the with the way of like the cores are like playing, like Jay is playing a bit more greedy. Like, like this game, he was playing more greedy than Frenzy, and it's just like going for the Frenzy Midas. needs. Yeah, Frenzy needs somebody to play with him, and just going for the Midas is like, like screw you. Okay, I'm thinking more about my game and how I'm gonna look, uh, how my stats are gonna look like. But yeah, sometimes. You need to take one for the team. All right. Well, that's it. Head bonk. It was close. In game one, game two, they looked dominant, winning in 25 minutes. Entertaining series, nonetheless. Uh, 